Hey guys, so today's video, I am going to show you, in, I should say in today's video. Hey guys, so in today's video, I am going to show you a raglan t-shirt that I decorated. Um, and originally I did have an intro that I did before I painted my shirt except that when I just went to play it back, the audio was all wonky, I think because of my fan. Um, I'm not really sure how it got that wonky, but it did, so the audio just was not usable in that intro. So this is my new intro. Um, so let's get started on the shirts. Okay, so for this shirt, um, I decided that I would try spray painting using my own um, makeshift spray paint where I used acrylic paint, textile, medium, and water. Um, I used my distilled water that I have for one of my plants um, and the textile medium I had just gotten because I use it for other projects like um, when I want to make like a mole or freckles or something on one of my dolls. I mix some brown paint with some textile medium um, so that the paint is more flexible on their vinyl. That's a tip that I learned online. And so anyway, I tried making my own spray paint and shook it up and everything. I used a green chain, um, like color changing paint and I did this project on my desk in my room, which is not actually the wisest idea, as you will see later. Um, if you want to try decorating a shirt like this with either spraying it or, as I later do, paint splattering, it is best to do it in a larger location like if you have room on your porch or outside on your lawn or your driveway or something um, and make sure you have lots and lots of uh, newspapers and stuff to lay down and also definitely be sure to have uh, cardboard on the inside of your shirt so that you you know it helps you to not get the paint sticking um, running onto the back of the shirt or uh, like sticking, making the two, the front and the back of the shirt stick together um, because sometimes the cardboard will stick to the shirt when you, um, once the paint is dried and you do take it off. Um, but anyway, so I was able to spray a little bit of my shirt, but then eventually my spray bottle clogged or something. It, might have been because of the glitter in the paint so I tossed it out and now as you can see I decided to go ahead and splatter <laughs> my shirt and of course get some paint splatters over everything else that I had in the nearby vicinity. I don't believe I got any of my doll stuff which is good um, <laughs> but I did end up getting my curtains um, that were right behind my, the area where I was working, well, right in front of the area I was working, I should say. Um, I did get them a little bit dotted, but that's okay. Um, they're just, like, curtains from Walmart anyway. <laughs> um, so I decided after the green to go mix up a blue color, and then I also did, like, a purplish color, and... So, also this shirt is, as I said in the intro, is like a raglan shirt, I think that's how it's pronounced, um, almost like a baseball tee type of shirt, um, and I got it at Michael's. Originally, my plan was to use Rit dye and just dye the main part of it, except when I got the shirt and was at Michael's, all the bright colors of Rit dye were out of stock. They only had like neutrals like tan and black and 
um, brown and gray and so not very many pretty colors so I decided to go with this method of painting it um, and the textile medium helps acrylic paint turn into like a washable fabric paint so that it doesn't chip as much and it's more flexible and everything and with my with some of my leftover paint as you can see on the right here I kind of poured it onto a canvas that I will add more to later um, but just to use up the rest of the paint and not just toss it all out and I did save a little bit in another little container for another project if I ever have another project to do um, and so anyway aside from what I'm working on because right now um, I will eventually start working on writing out um, what I plan to write on the shirt and also doing the stars because I wanted some stars on it. Um, so anyway, aside from that, nothing too much else is going on right now. Um, not sure if you guys like these kinds of things where of going off on a tangent. I know some people do, some people don't, um, but I figured I might try it. Um, not that I have too much to go on. Uh, like my violin lessons are going okay. I started the Haydn Rondo, the violin one, the first violin part, um, and that's going okay for the first couple, first few lines. Uh, it does get harder after that because um, I do make a lot of mistakes on it. And in my lesson, I also made a mistake on another song, um, and for some reason, I just kept making the same mistakes over and over and eventually lost my confidence on that. So I'm taking a little bit of a break on that song and we'll come back to it um, next month. And so, but luckily my therapy appointment went pretty well, um, which is good because right now uh, I'm back on the whole like trying to eat healthier and lose weight and stuff because a couple of years ago I was able to lose a lot of weight um, but the maintenance part kind of all just it went downhill and old habits came back and basically I gained all the weight back so I'm starting back at the beginning um, and also around the time that everything started to unravel and snowball and um, I had gotten my like chronic pain um, that started out as like uh, sharp chest pain which might have been like costochondritis um, it happened as a result on a night when I had like a stomach bug or something and had gotten sick um, like shortly after that like my chest just started hurting and everything and like I had to be careful at work because like different movements would cause the pain to like be really strong and stuff so for a little bit I had to be like sorry I can't really like grab baskets or anything or do this because like the pain hurt um, over time it has subsided for the most part but I do have some lingering pain and that's been chronic. It's intermittent so it's not like constant which is good and definitely some days are better than others. Um, I had like certain activities that I kind of backed off on because they would aggravate the pain more like you know when I was working out I was like you know I was jump roping and stuff but that seem to aggra aggravate the pain. Um, walking for a little while kind of like I would get some pain. Um, so luckily a lot of it has um, become more mild or subsided and I, I've had like some physical therapy with it because it also has affected like my neck 
and my shoulder, mostly on my right side. Uh, so, um, I've had physical therapy, I had an MRI, I've had like a chest x-ray, I had an EKG, just to make sure nothing, you know, serious was happening. Um, and I might have like slight scoliosis pointing towards the right, like curving towards the right. So a lot of my current physical therapy exercises are things to, that I have to do, like one-sided towards the left to kind of open up the right side more. Um, so that's been interesting. And I'm guessing a lot of it could have happened like over time through my work because I work at a grocery store. So like a lot of times I am like scanning things right to left. So that has probably aggravated, you know, like made the pain happen and stuff. Um, so it has been quite a journey and, but luckily I'm able to do certain activities again so I can like work out better again. I haven't tried jump roping in a little while so I'm not sure if that'll still make the pain hurt but it's trying to find activities I can do. I can hula hoop which is good, um, going for walks, it's that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah that's a bit of on my current health journey, <laughs> um, at least part of it. Uh, Anyway, back to the shirt. I am using a glow in the dark um, fabric paint marker that I got on clearance from Michaels. It was a bit hard to use as like the ink kept trying, like kept stopping flowing very well, um, and I had to like. Uh, I kind of had to like shake it more and like do a whole bunch of stuff with it. Um, I kept trying to take the nib out to see if like that was causing it. it so some lines that I went over came out better, some did not. Uh, but I tried it and it does kind of work. Um, like it does make the shirt glow in the dark a bit. Maybe not the best, but that's okay. Um, again, it was on clearance, and I just wanted to try it out. Uh, I don't know if there are better brands. This one is like the Deco Art brand. Um, but so anyway, nothing too much else. Um, I'm just enjoying my day off today because unlike some people I do work still and have been working throughout the whole pandemic. Uh, yay! Um, <laughs> I'm considered an essential worker because of working at a grocery store and um, so some tips. You know, uh, we don't always know when things are going to be back in stock. Um, we order things, but because of everything going on, sometimes shipments just don't happen or, and we don't really know. It's all still unpredictable. Um, in my state, we have just started where you can use reusable bags again at my store. It is preferred that the customer, if they're using reusable bags, that they bag their own stuff which kind of makes sense because even before everything, um, I will tell you that while some people were good about like washing their bags and keeping their bags clean, other people like had reusable bags that were super, super nasty. Like you would not want to like touch it, but we had to. So <laughs> like, yeah. Um, like if you have a pet and your pet is peeing on those bags, like, oh, that's just nasty okay even if you wash it like the smell doesn't always go away you have to use like special stuff to make the smell go away and it is just cool or just like you know other stuff gets on those bags like it's just so wash your bags if you plan to use reusable bags please 
and be nice to us because again we don't always know everything like and you know sometimes even with like sale products and stuff or like you know they might not come out it's not always our fault you know we don't put the prices in the system sometime and make sure you read tags and make sure you follow the rules just just follow the rules it's not that hard and wear a mask please it is also not that hard and not that inconvenient so also remember that we are human too so um anyway uh here is a close-up of my finished shirt the color changing did not work on the fabric which I kind of figured but it did make the shirt all oh, nice and sparkly as you can see hey guys so here is my finished shirt it's all been washed and everything um, as you can see it didn't quite come out evenly with the text but that's okay it says find your art um, and there are two stars. There's this one and then there's this one. I think the bottom star came out better than the top star because I did have trouble with the um, glow-in-the-dark paint pen. Um, so this one kind of came out more sloppily, whereas this one came out a bit more even, but that's okay. Also, the color-changing um, paint, as I kind of suspected, won't actually <laughs> change on the shirt um, but it is just like a sparkly paint so there are it did make the shirt all sparkly um, which is very very nice which I don't know if I can it's probably too dark to see it but you can kind of see the sparkles oh um, so yeah this was all the paint splashing me here is the full shirt. Um, so it is so nice. Eventually I might get another one and actually do the writ dye. Because um, I do still want to try that. But I think this is cute. It's great for if I'm doing like painting projects or it can make a cute night shirt. Um, to go with like shorts or pants for at night for PJs because of the glow in the dark or just a fun shirt to wear out and about. Um, so if you want to try this project, you can. Again, if you do the paint splatter, it would be best to actually have a wider area. Um, so like if you have a porch that you can do the paint splatter on or do it outside or something, use lots and lots of um, like newspaper and stuff um, and just be aware that paint will splatter because I did get some paint I realized on um, one of my curtains. It's okay though because the paint is the blue paint and the curtain is like blue and white. So. Um, but yeah, if you liked this video, then please subscribe, please like, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!